Hello, hello. Good morning, and I'm just waiting for my screen to do the thing. Okay, hello. We have woken up this morning and might be a little bit hard or dreamy this morning. Maybe you wanted to stay in bed and just keep snuggling down. I know it's getting freezing here in Tassie. Um, definitely time, we're almost at the time where we're lighting the fire in the morning as well. <laughs> okay, so now the reason why I was saying it might be a little bit dreamy this morning is because we've got the sun sextile Neptune. That was at 8 a.m. So that just adds that little bit of dreamy, intuitive quality. So um, in the words I wrote, if there are moments of confusion, don't let them throw you into a spin or get you unbalanced. Of course, because we have that moon in Libra and it is conjunct the south node. So just those two things together could have us thinking about the past. So we don't want to. Good morning, Susan. How are you? Yeah, so we don't want to we don't want to dwell in the past too long. Um, in addition to that sun sextile Neptune moon in Libra conjunct the south node. We also have the moon opposing Chiron, all right? And it's also Chiron Hygieia. And later on in the week, we've got Chiron and Hygieia of being the healing, so healing those wounds and our health and well-being. Those two guys come together. Good morning, Louise. And in the words for next week, I was writing Kygia because it's they just become this one entity of us focusing on ourselves how can we best serve ourselves and heal those things of the past and move forward way more efficiently and effectively and directly um uh, <clears throat> yes all right so <laughs> that also ties into the fact that we have mars exactly conjunct the north node today good morning alicia so you know there's lots of okay so um so yeah, don't get unbalanced. Like Mars conjunct the North Node is that push and drive forward. Uh, however, like I said, we've got the Moon in Libra conjunct the South Node, Sun sextile Neptune, and we're all sort of, we're dreamily, or maybe we're out of focus because we could maybe have some sort of hurt that has re-emerged. But it's just going to take us to just, all right? remember we can we can identify those thoughts honor them you know i think i've used that term during next week's or, or next week's this week's no this week's <laughs> look at look at the confusion like where, where am i um um i use that term honor a lot during the week and it's more you know when you honor yourself and the universe honors you back because respect gets respect begets Respect, is that how they say it? Respect begets respect. Anyway, if you know that saying, did I get it right? <laughs> all right, so think, of, all right, so there's another couple of things happening today, which were beautiful. All right, so the sun is at the 29th degree of Taurus. So if you are in this calm, imaginative, thoughtful place, um, <clears throat> You, and that south node moon is in Libra, right? So also being ruled by Venus, like the like the Sun Jupiter conjunction. Take this time to have a look back at the last month and see how far you've come. All right, it's always a nice thing in these last days to go back and um, in the words of like, think back how far you've come in the last month, how far you've actually come in the last month. Take a big, deep breath and own all the good stuff you've done. You know, learn from the challenges and get ready for the Gemini action that is coming your way. Now, a lot of what we've done in the last month is the groundwork. All right. So we come from an earth sign, Taurus, fixed earth. We were diligently working in the background in a lot of ways. You know, um, you know, life is a business like we we function well when we have a good strategy and and we know you know terms and conditions boundaries you know um future projections what what why what um 
where do you want to head in your life all right so again if we structure our lives just with a little bit of thought we're not being buffered by the winds you know especially now with all of this beautiful jupiter energy all right so when the sun moves into gemini and this week on sunday jupiter moves into gemini for our year so not only are we looking back at the last month while the sun's been in taurus but we can also look back at the last year and see how much we've learned, all right, because Jupiter is about knowledge and awareness, in regards to finances, in regards to our own sense of security. You know, um, we've had a lot of Chiron action. Were you able to take the learnings of Chiron and superimpose them with the learnings of Jupiter? And, and do you understand... Uh, you know, your past hurts in regards to how you are feeling secure in this moment, you know, have you done that type of work, you know, um, so yeah, lots and lots of things to consider, and yeah, like, like I said, just the dreaminess of this morning, just give yourself a little bit of time, it's not, it's not like you have to spend the whole day, grab a pen and paper, write down a few things of, of credit that you deserve because of the effort that you have put in, all right, so that's that's not something that is um is hard to do. So now tomorrow morning the moon does move into Scorpio, so we have that time of the month where I get my inner cigar cards out, and I just love it because you know, again with all of this contemplation that we're doing right now, you know when the sun moves into Gemini and we go into a headspace at the same time the moon moves into Scorpio and we go down deep into our soul and that place that, you know, holds all of those um, intense emotions, whether they're awesomely intense or a little bit skeletons in the closet intense, you know, it's there, tomorrow is a, it's, it's a, it's a day, you know, so we go, you know, and those guys are actually in conjunct, all right, so remember that adjustment required, so take today to give yourself all of the credit and propping up that you need and deserve because you're awesome and get ready for the action that's coming your way all right so the moon moves into gemini at 11 p.m now interestingly enough mercury ruling the sun uh well ruling gemini all right because straight away we're going to have uh venus move into gemini and jupiter so sun jupiter venus all of the juicy good beneficial benefic planets so get ready for all the good juice to come your way. It's going to be amazing, even though, you know, the first couple of days we're making adjustments, but that's okay because we've been doing the work. So it's just a matter of, you know, the continuing flow of the universe. So Mercury is going to be relatively unaspected until the 26th. So, so for just under a week, Mercury is going to be moving through the sky, ruling all of this stuff, not talking to anyone. All right, so he's still in Taurus, being very contemplative, being very focused on those really valuable things, comfort, security, finances, self-worth. So Mercury, they're just going to leave him the hell alone and he's just going to be doing his thing. And then he comes into, he's coming up to conjunct Uranus. All right, so more mental changes. All right, so we're going to have Mercury, Uranus changing shit up jupiter juice everywhere so again take this moment to just ground and and give yourself all of the credit that you deserve all right so that's pretty much it um i did draw a i did draw a card at the beginning which i forgot to tell you about but that's okay <laughs> and it is the world needs your happiness there you go all right a life of suffering or unhappiness and a life deprived of the things that you most want does not help the world but your happiness your abundance and your life lived to the fullest uplifts the entire world and that is just so true you know you know especially what because it is mercury and we have that antenna you know mercury and uranus are our antennas so the thoughts that we think are the things that are getting broadcast to the universe. So when we pay attention to our thoughts and we stop those negative ones, it stops that negative belief getting emitted. We, we, we give ourselves the comfort that we need 
to release because the moon is conjunct south node to um you know to just get those energies flowing in a nicer state i gave thanks to my happiness this morning yay awesome there you go look how in alignment you are alicia it is it is it is beautiful to watch that's what it is it is beautiful so that's me guys i am going to go and like i just said at the beginning of this it is starting to get really cold so mick and i are on a mission to stock our woodshed get enough you know kindling and and clean up around the place not that we're worried about fires but um it's just yeah we're getting ready for the solstice is coming you know i'm up to i'm doing the astro right now for june so um you know we've got some amazing things coming up so just give thanks for where you're at right now and then yeah get ready because as of tomorrow shit's gonna change guys shit is going to change <laughs> so all right i am around at home for the next three days so if you would like a jupiter reading to figure out where jupiter is in your chart and have a look how his year-long transit of jupiter affects your chart then reach out to me you can either go to my website and use the booking button and go through that avenue or just reach out on the socials if you're on youtube just you know write a link and i'll get in contact with you so there's lots of options have a fabulous day i'm going to go get warm go train and then go wood forage so have a walk have a good one Mwah. see ya